blog right here. V blog nine eleven. You remember the nine eleven? Yeah, I remember that day. And since then, I started a career of IT. Wasn't the best IT because you know never made six figure income for the almost twenty years of my career. I actually made good money on the side selling stuff, so that might be a thing to move into. Um, I kind of put that on a hold due to personal issues. I'm hoping I can give it to late October to let it blow away. I doubt it'll get any better. It doesn't feel like it's going to get any better, but I don't know. I'll just have to ride it through. It's a family ordeal that I don't really want to discuss, but puts me in that predicament. On the 20th, I'll be doing another paranormal thing with the uh, infamous Brian Clune, the author, so that'll be a little fun, but it seems like they're not really revved up to have me on board lately. I wonder why, but whatever. I got a few artists that drew some neat stuff of me, but I didn't see it on their page, so either it was a gift art or what. I'm pretty cool with a lot of crazy things. I'm back at Bob's office. Internet's a little bit wonky, chalky, whatever. So we had a tech out today, and that was fun because he introduced myself, showed him where the watt line was at, and then he traced it back to the front office, the, the uh, TAP, the CO, whatever it is. I probably shouldn't have given the inside because that may have, that could have incurred a charge. But then again, I didn't know what Bob had worked on his stuff. So otherwise I would do a line quality test to the TAP and then trace it to there because that's the, de the they call it the demarcation point. This way you can't say it's at and fault because they have a router and whatever. I don't care whose fault it is, just get it fixed. But and then again, I probably should because, you know, if you are if you own stuff, you do want to make sure that the company and the money you pay for, you get the results you want. And then there's also said to you get what you paid for. This isn't one of the best services. It is DSL. Okay, fine. It's not DSL. It's U-verse. You can argue with back and forth, but it's got two DSL modems that, that actually are bonded together. It's link aggression protocols. There's many other names for it, but it does the same thing. It's allow you to have multiple data paths to increase the bandwidth and throughput out of the network. Okay, I don't know what you call it, how you call it. In some cases, you can call it routing if you want, because there's iGrip and eIGrip and all the other routing topologies. And I'm going to say those are what we call branding yes and they're great technologies and some of them have been like ltr is one of the best ones for communications i still love it i mean they're better implementations you can go back through the years and find good old rock solid hardware but it just depends on what your goal and your vision is now i don't know you but being a customer you know phone technology has came a long way to phones are so reliable to the point where during those fires we're getting live feed and if it's not from there we've got network capabilities with starlink and people who are actually with campers now now they do cost more don't get me wrong 250 dollars a lot a month for internet but you know you get what you paid for those phased array antennas aren't something you're going to find at walmart i'll tell you that I mean, I have enough people complain that I put a wireless router in that's $35 or $45 and I'm blowing the budget. And I can understand $45 and turns around and goes and spend a $50 hat the next day on me. And say, it's just only $50. I want to... Okay. Family has to yell at me that I'm not in control of my money, but I am. So that's part of the family thing that's going on. So they've been a little bit quiet that I'm not spending money like water. But I will tell you, as people who are followers... There's a reason why I had three jobs. There's a reason why I was putting cameras in at night. They gave me the experience to do the paranormal stuff and wire up cameras and tear it down real fast. So all of these things are skill sets. Now, coming from a technician and many other technicians that work with me, that doesn't mean you're going to get a six-figure income. That means you're more guaranteed the job. The guy that came by, sure, Bob didn't quite want to talk to him at the beginning, but after I introduced myself and worked with him and I went to lunch and came back and he was done... He, I'm assuming he did the right job, tested the line correctly for signal quality like I would anyone else who's working in the industry. You get trained for this, and that's a skill set. I mean, I probably don't know how to test it. I'm sure if you gave me the test equipment and gave me some numbers I should be looking for and memorize, I, I will do that quality line testing because if there's a scientific qualitative, quantitative way of measuring something, that no one's going to argue because the proof and the facts are right there. Now, if something feels better, then you might have to uh, don't take my vote. Ask for other people and, and get their opinions too because it, it's 
qualitative and it's more opinionated versus something that's measurable. So bottom line is network's working. I've been doing some load testing here at the office just to make sure the problem has gone away, cleaned up the other back room a little bit. You know, I do a little extra stuff techs don't normally do. Um, I don't really charge for any of that stuff too either, and I should learn to do that, but I do find that quality of service do make up the difference for everything. So, But I've been checking around, and so far that's a couple of the highlights of this week, 9-11. So I've got next week I'll be out at that little trip. I rented a uh, hotel. Best Western this time. It comes to 150 a night, but I'm there just two nights, so that's $300. I can budget that. I kind of didn't want to do it, and I was like, eh, if I don't do it, save myself $200. But at the same time, if I do do it, um, I have some time away from house, and of course, families, yeah, because of the situation going on. I hope she actually has the ability to uh, talk on her phone because I prefer real time conversations. I don't know how big this file is going to be, but I do want to use it to do an upload test. So I will be dropping this off in about 10 seconds from now. Yes, I'll probably have to shave this off next week as well, too. And I, I'll just go to a barber and do it. It's going to be another $50, but it'll save me having the hassle of figuring that out. And, and I hate to say it, I'm really going to have to keep this on because it took about another three months to grow back. And I really love my beard again. And again, family doesn't think so. I love beards because, you know, if you drink beer a lot, it goes with the beer, beer. I'm probably going to have to figure out how to get my hair to grow more. Maybe, if anything, maybe consider trimming it short and dyeing it purple again. I do like purple hair, so <laughs> I might consider doing that at a place after the barber shop after next week's debacle. Maybe sometime after my birthday, I'll probably do that. It'll be kind of fun to try that out do it purple again but it'll probably be another hundred dollars i don't know and if that's the case i'll ask someone else what the going price for hair coloring is and find that someone who's in the fifty dollar range but to be quite frank this office is a collection of history no doubt about it and maybe someday i'll have my dirt layer back so ta-ta